According to American Heart Association, uh, these lesions are classified in six types. Uh, let's discuss one by one in detail. Uh, number one is this uh, fatty dots or initial lesions in which uh, few cells are filled with lipids. This uh, may start appearing at an early age, uh, uh, maybe first year of life, okay, first year of life of a child and almost all children have this uh, initial lesion by the age of 10 years, okay, all children. And this uh, fatty dots uh, are uh, somehow somewhere around uh, 1 mm in size. The size of the fatty dots is uh, around 1 mm. Now the type 2. The type 2 is called fatty streak lesions. Now due to fusion of that fatty dots uh, which we have discussed earlier, um, I mean just now, uh, it gets uh, linear and uh, become large. It gets linear due to the fusion and becomes large. And these lesions uh, are up to 1 cm in size, okay, they starts growing so it, uh, its size becomes uh, larger. Also, the, these starts appearing at an early age, mainly these lesions are found in coronary artery and almost all children, okay, all children have these kind of lesions until their puberty. Uh, but understand that uh, only few fatty streaks convert into mature atherosclerosis because there are actually other factors which play a major role in further development of this uh, fatty streak which we will discuss later in our next video. Now the third type is uh, intermediate lesions. In this case, uh, the lipid starts forming extracellularly uh, which means outside the cells of course uh, between smooth muscles and macrophages. The fourth type is advanced and atheromatous lesion. So in this case, uh, this is due to buildup of core of lipid uh, it is due to bursting of many foam cells, okay, foam cells burst as uh, I have told you earlier that uh, due to that uh, oxidization of LDL, okay, they start eating more and until they burst out they keep on eating, okay, so this is how it is, uh, they are going to burst, so it is due to bursting of many foam cells like uh, smooth muscles and macrophages. Uh, now the fifth type, uh, it's a uh, fibroathroma lesion. So it is due to formation of fibrous cap as we have discussed earlier that due to release of collagen fiber by altered smooth muscles basically the function of this uh, smooth muscle is the contraction and relaxation involuntarily it starts progressing this lesion starts progressing due to this alteration. Now the sixth type it's uh, very complicated it is called atheromatous lesion so this is due to formation of platelet plaques as I've told you okay what is the function of the platelet it clots the blood to prevent the blood flow okay. when you are injured you got uh, some kind of injury so blood starts running okay so the platelet formation stops the bleeding this is how it works so due to the formation of platelet plaques which creates a mass called thrombi over there it creates a mass due to platelet formation it creates a mass called thrombi which again in simple terms is a clot and uh, sometimes what happens uh, uh, there are the new blood vessels which we have discussed on the lateral side okay new blood vessels formed on the lateral sides of the lesions uh, create an intraplaque hemorrhage I have talked about this earlier, okay, intraplaque hemorrhage. So this is how it happens. So this leads to this uh, intraplaque hemorrhage leads to rapid enlargement of uh, plaque and blocking the lumen of the artery. So it enlarges the plaque, okay, the site, and it blocks the entire lumen of the artery. Now this uh, type one to three, uh, these type one to three lesions are usually silent and uh, do not show any clinical complications but complications progress from type 4 to 6 okay type 4 to type 6 uh, these uh, complications progress further now in uh, larger vessels like abdominal aorta uh, due to atherosclerosis uh, these lesions are creating aneurysmal dilations so what are aneurysmal dilations uh, it means it usually ballooned out ballooned from outside it usually balloons out like uh, let's say that uh, this is an artery uh, a pipe okay which is ballooned from the outside so this is how the aneurysmal dilation happens and uh, in smaller vessels like coronary artery these lesions are formed as an obstruction leading to blockage of the artery so what happens uh, the, it uh, this lesion obstruct from the inside okay inside of the artery and it uh, blocks the blood flow
Now, some of the vessels may undergo gradual stenosis. Now, stenosis uh, means uh, the blood vessels get narrow than usual. So, it also restricts the blood flow. Uh, there are uh, also other surface defects on the endothelium uh, like uh, ulceration on the endothelium, uh, ruptures and erosions as well. So, which leads to platelet plaques okay, due to this uh, uh, ruptures resulting again in thrombogenesis. Okay, we have discussed it earlier or uh, in simple terms it is called a clot. Now what happens that sometimes the lipid core, uh, this uh, lipid core material from the lesion, the site of the lesion, the lipid core material comes outside. So this comes out, it flows into the blood and uh, blocks some other vessels also or some smaller vessels. So it flows into the blood and uh, it goes ahead and it blocks some other smaller vessels as well. Now this may lead to complications like uh, lower limb ischemia, it's a complication uh, which means blockage of the arteries of the lower limb and sometimes the arteries like abdominal aorta may even rupture and uh, it can lead to sudden death. Now most of the common cases uh, which everybody knows are uh, coronary heart disease, chest pain, heart attack, uh, sudden cardiac death and uh, heart failure well there are other complications too but uh, these are something which almost all of us are familiar with now this uh, atheromatous lesions uh, may also occur in uh, this uh, carotid artery and circle of villus of the central nervous system of uh, cns which may lead to ischemic attack okay ischemic attack uh, stroke uh, uh, hemorrhage uh, infarction and in uh, this uh, CNS and uh, even sudden death. So these lesions also occur in this uh, vessels like GIT as well. So these lesions also occur in the vessel of GIT like uh, this uh, mesenteric artery uh, which uh, may lead to postprandial pain of the abdomen. Now what is postprandial pain of the abdomen? It's the pain after eating a meal. And uh, sometimes in uh, advanced atherosclerosis, uh, this uh, male patients uh, they may develop some kind of uh, erectile dysfunctions, so due to these lesions in abdominal aorta and uh, iliac artery, they do suffer from this erectile dysfunctions.